Hunters, Pecunia. Yes, but to the natives, cash money. Shut Cash money? Shut up. <gasps> cash money! <laughs> Cashew! Ah! Casablanca! Casanova! Cash me outside, how about that? You're out of there! You're gone. Uh -huh. Go on. Mm. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. So you just never know what's going to happen in any good suspense series. You never know what's going to happen during live TV or live sporting event. And you never know what's going to happen with Donald Trump. It's a topsy-turvy world out there, but damn it, is it entertaining. We often say that this trial in Fulton County is better than any Judge Judy or Judge Joe Brown or Jerry Springer show, for that matter, or Real Housewives or Love Sex Island or whatever, right? Like, it's, it's too good. It's too good. And there's been a massive new twist in all of this. So you know that the judge ruled effectively that either Big Fanny or Nathan's hot dog had to leave the case. And if Big Fanny left the case, then that meant her entire office effectively was not going to be able to bring the case. And so the entire case would collapse. And Big Fanny's entire career uh, depends on putting Orange Man in prison, giving Orange Man orange jumpsuit. And so, of course, she wasn't going to leave. Nathan Wade bowed out. But there's a twist, baby. The judge has just ordered a review of his own ruling there. Judge allows Trump and seven co-defendants to appeal his decision that kept Fannie Willis on the Georgia election fraud case in legal drama. This will now go to an appeals court, but the state appeals court is in dark red Georgia. Georgia has super majorities of Republicans in both chambers, plus Republican gubernatorial. I, I can't imagine that the appeals court uh, wouldn't lean on the side of Donald Trump here, but let's see. Judge McAfee allowed the appeal ruling not to disqualify Fannie Willis. The court will continue with pretrial motion while it said appeals court decides. Trump has scored a series of wins in efforts to delay cases and in the appeals courts. So very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Donald Trump will be allowed to appeal Fulton Superior Court Judge McAfee's decision that kept Fannie Willis on the Georgia election case. Even in his decision, he said that, like, Fannie Willis is totally compromised. In the judge's decision, he's like, uh, yeah, there's absolutely um, a conflict of interest here. So one of you's got to go. That's what he said. And he says that Fannie Willis's behavior has been disgraceful. Uh, of course, the judge also worked for Fannie Willis and donated Fannie Willis, which, of course, but you got to assume should be disqualifying, but I guess not. This is the judge, Judge Scott McAfee. Uh, this is a, a lawyer, Ashley Merchant, uh, and others are trying to disqualify Fannie Willis. And here's Donald Trump la <laughs> laughing his ass off about all of it. So here's the order today, uh, effectively allowing it. The judge has issued a certificate immediate review, which will allow Donald Trump and co-dependents to seek an appeal. So what does this mean? I mean, maybe this means that the, uh, maybe this means that the judge is straight up saying, like, I'm a little too close in on this and I want to punt, which is what many of the legal experts were saying. Many of the legal experts were saying what this decision is, is sort of a punt. This judge is elected. I think that should be illegal, quite frankly. The judges shouldn't be elected. I think that people who elect their their governors, right, and governors should appoint judges. I think that's the way it should work. That's the way it works federally. Uh, judge McAfee has granted a certificate of immediate review pending U.S. Uh, uh, permitting us to apply to the Georgia Court of Appeals for pretrial appeal of his order denying disqualification of D.A. Fannie Willis of Steve Sadow. Steve Sadow is Donald Trump's lawyer in all this. One of the co-defendants, uh, Judge Schaefer, also tweeting it. Obviously, the uh, Trump team here is ecstatic. They kind of got half of what they wanted, right? They exposed Fannie Willis. This became like a bombshell drama must watch, must see TV, and it's totally embarrassing. Ha Good luck finding jury members who don't know anything about this case. Not going to happen. I don't know. I just don't know how the thing goes forward. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the breaking news. On the justice system, we've got an update now, Phil, from the judge. This just in, overseeing efforts to disqualify Fonnie Willis from the Georgia election interference case. That judge, uh, we have just learned, has issued an order, Phil, allowing Trump and eight co-defendants to seek appeal of the order denying disqualification of Willis. The Georgia Court of Appeals has 45 days to decide whether they will hear the case. That's obviously big news, Phil. Your reaction. 
Yeah, it is big, and it's something that we've been following, of course, very closely here in the Atlanta area. The judge's order that's being appealed, in my opinion, uh, is wrong. I think that th- he found, for example, that Willis uh, wrongfully engaged in uh, communications outside the courtroom. Basically, she went into the well of a church on Sunday, and she essentially called uh, some of the defendants and their counsels racist, right? And so she is making public statements outside of the courtroom that are designed to uh, impact the, the ability of these defendants to get a fair trial. So what's happened, uh, the parties have appealed and they have to do a, it's a two-step thing. They've got to get the judge who issued the order to agree to it. And as you mentioned, the Court of Appeals also has to agree to hear it. This is what we call an interlocutory appeal, a mm-hmm. pre-trial appeal. Normally you have to wait until after there's a conviction and then take every issue up that you think is an error, take it all up on appeal at the same time. But this issue is so important that, it, you know, you don't want to risk having a trial or multiple trials against all these defendants, potentially having convictions, and then have the Court of Appeals, after all is said and done, have them then say, uh, you got it wrong. We're going to send it back for you to start over all wow. again, and this time with a brand new prosecutor. So this procedure will prevent that type of situation from occurring. Really? So it does look like there's another wrench thrown into all of this. We've again, like been uh, super duper uh, close to this case, following it, going live, like listening to all of the pretrial motions, listening to this dequal- disqualification hearing. Uh, it's clear that Fannie Willis is a vicious, vindictive, low information prosecutor who is just a political hatchet woman who is trying to robe herself and hide like a, behind the pulpit of the, the church when quite frankly, she's a, she's an evil home wrecker. So as irascible and horrible of a person as Fannie Willis is, um, what will this do to the case? Jonathan Turley on Fox news, one of our favorite legal analysts saying this is going to delay the case indefinitely. Potentially. So he blinked. Uh, and they're going to ask courts to look at this and say, how is this coherent or consistent? Mm-hmm. You know, you indicated that Wade, pro, you know, his answers were less than forthcoming. Some people believe he committed perjury, but she adopted his answers. They they testified largely in tandem. So if he was saying something untrue, she was saying something untrue. But more importantly, that appearance of impropriety does not end uh, with Nathan Wade. Uh, these two are joined uh, on 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 this appearance problem. So we'll see if he gives leave. If he gives leave, then this thing is not going to see a courtroom uh, for a trial before the election. And so this is Jonathan Turley saying that this trial will not be going before the election. Of course, that's what Democrats rabidly want to happen because this is their last remaining hope to put Donald Trump in handcuffs before the election because they are evil fascists. Jonathan Turley following that up by saying effectively that this ruling is incomprehensible. New York, let's go down to Georgia, where the lawyers for Trump and the eight co-defendants, they filed an emergency appeal in the Fonnie Willis case. Uh, They're trying to disqualify her again. And this is from Trump's lead defense counsel. The motion notes that the court found that Willis's actions created an appearance of impropriety and an odor of mendacity that lingers in the case, but it nonetheless refused to dismiss the case or disqualify her. Will they be able to disqualify her through this appeal? Or will this happen? Well, the... the Usually the courts will prevail on this, but the question is whether the trial judge will give leave to appeal, to do an interlocutory appeal, which is relatively rare. That will further delay the case. You know, basically, Willis has been playing a game of chicken with mm-hmm. these courts. She's refused to remove herself, as she should, and she succeeded. You know, the judge knew that if he disqualified Willis, he would likely have had to disqualify the entire office. Uh, and that's quite a cliff to go over. So the reason I like Turley is because he's like, what's the right way to say this? Like he, he seems like a very like clear eyed legal scholar and he sometimes gives us bad news, but it's correct news. And he oftentimes gives Democrats a taste of their own medicine on these things and is saying, listen, you like, you can't have Fannie Willis and Nathan's hot dog, like continuing on in the case. You can't have either of them continue on in the case. They're both in this together. They both lied together. They both humiliated themselves together. Here's a meme uh, that Donald Trump posted. We don't know if he got it from our account or not, but Donald Trump posted this meme and um, 
Elon Musk responded. Pretty hilarious. Go to a cabin with Miss Willis ever. 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 All the time he been a giver. Thought of thing would last forever. Through thick and thin, good or bad. All I was happy, never, never sad. Now it's all gone sober. Getting worse by the hour. Let's break up the. No. Never gone to a cabinet with this. No. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not, just, I'm not just showing you that. I mean, that's that's actually literally Donald Trump. This is Donald Trump posting this meme. And then Elon Musk responding to us posting Donald Trump's meme. So this is just us in between Donald Trump and Elon Musk. Elon Musk with the uh, laughy face emoji saying this is hilarious. What happens when you're in what happens when everything is a laughing stock? Donald Trump's made this laughing stock, obviously on the trail. Donald Trump's made jokes about Nathan Wade. Dated by Fanny in Georgia. Fanny. How did that work out? And her lover, Nathan Wade. And they hired him for almost a million dollars because of his great, great experience. Of course, he didn't have any experience. He had experience in something else. You know that. He had a lot of experience. It's too good. It's like a Jerry Springer episode, like a Jerry Springer episode. And Donald Trump has a new one here, ladies and gentlemen. It's like Fanny, like Fanny, like you're not only that, all these local cases like Fanny, Fanny. It's spelled Fanny. It's spelled Fanny like your ass, right, Fanny? Some, sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, I just don't want it to end. I just don't want it to end. It's too good. It's too classic. It's too choice. This moment in history is too entertaining. What would happen if they kicked off Fannie Willis? There'd be no more big Fanny jokes. There'd be no more Nathan's hot dog jokes. There'd be no more Donald Trump. Fanny. Fanny. Like your ass. There'd be no more of that. No more of that. Too bad. What, what, what will we do? Our cups runneth over right now, ladies and gentlemen. If you wish to join us in laughing along with all of this absurdity, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See ya.